You were sent to be a blessing and they ruined it. God sent you to be a blessing to them and they burned the bridge to the ground. God sent you to open a door for them. He sent you to bring healing and enlightenment to them. To help them get on their divine path. And instead of embracing you, they killed the opportunity. Some things only happen once in a lifetime. You know, some of these people are sitting around praying to God for blessings. And when he sends it, they tear it up and destroy it. How many chances do you honestly think that that you're going to get? How many chances do they think they're going to get? You know, you must be in position and ready to receive. However, when the time comes, some people, they fumble the ball. They fumble the ball. Yeah. You were sent to be a blessing and they rejected you. You didn't look like what they were expecting. You didn't have the things that they thought that you should have. Yeah. You didn't um, meet their requirements and expectations. So they took the winning ticket and they flushed it. They should have checked them numbers one last time. They should have thought twice. Some things only happen once in a lifetime. It's not to say that they won't be blessed again, but you can miss the big payout. They missed it. You are a rare person. A true gift from God, a rare diamond. To lose you is to lose God's best. See, they don't even have you sitting on display 24-7. You're like that special piece that is that's in the back that's locked away. They don't take you out for average occasions. I want you to remember that you were bought with a price. They see you the type that must um they got a request you from the owner of the place and say hey what's in the back what what, what else you got in in the back are there any exclusive pieces see god isn't going to allow his prized possession to fall into the hands of just anybody yeah some of these people were lucky to even be in your presence you had no business being in the hands of certain people but once god removed you He redeemed you and restored you. He made all things new. Never again will you be left unattended and fall into the wrong hands. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. Never again will you be left unattended and fall into the hands of a thief. He brought you back into safe care. Never again will you be left unattended to fall into the hands of the careless. Never again will you fall into the hands of those who will mishandle you and abuse you. The price just went up. You're God's prized possession. You're a limited addition. You were sent to be a blessing and they ruined it. A fool would not know what to do with things of value. Proverbs 30, 21 through 23. There are three things that make the earth tremble. No four that it cannot endure. A slave who becomes king. An overbearing fool who prospers. A bitter woman or a bitter person who finally gets a husband. A servant girl who supplants her mistress. Or even a servant man who supplants his, you know, Cause see a lot of times people like to use the Bible and, and stick to these gender roles. It's for all of us. You know? They didn't have the capacity to sustain the blessing. They were not fit. They were not fit. See, a fool with one million dollars will blow it. A fool with an opportunity will ruin it. Yeah, a thief with access will still kill and destroy the blessing. Do you understand? An unfit manager will not have the capacity to maintain the blessing. You cannot say, I pray to God. I pray that he sends me X, Y, Z. And when he does, you toss it out. 
Some of these people will not recognize you as a blessing from God until they have given it up, until they have given you up, until they have rejected you. They know, they will know that you are heaven sent and they will live with the regrets of losing you. All right. They will spend countless times trying to replace you and find another raw diamond, but they will never find another. They will have to settle for something else because they have forfeited the best. How did you get the ball and fumble it? How did they do that? When you catch that ball, you take it and you run with it. You take off. You take off. You protect it. You guard it. Yet they fumbled. They fumbled God's best. They fumbled you. Come on now. You were sent to be a blessing and they ruined it. I want to revisit Proverbs 30, 21 through 23 again. The people depicted in the scripture are nothing less than chaotic and troublesome. When you read it, these are the type of people who receive blessings and fumble them or wreak havoc while in possession of God's gifts. All right. All right. See, a person of low origin and a low spirit will become a tyrant when placed in authority. The person with a mean, evil, wicked, sinful, vulgar, dishonest, scandalous, disgusting, dishonorable, corrupt, foul, low minded spirit will become corrupt when in authority. They cannot be trusted with blessings, especially God's chosen one. These people will become tyrants. They will become a cruel and oppressive ruler. These types of people are foolish and violent and will essentially indulge in things excessively. They have no boundaries. They are limitlessly evil. They are excessively draining. See, a person with a contentious spirit will not be trusted with blessings. They are always causing an argument. They are highly controversial. And I don't mean that in a healthy way. You know how people are like, oh, she's controversial because that person always speaks out. Or he's controversial because he has a voice, you know, an opinion or whatever that is that goes against what everybody else. You know, they like to call those type of people controversial. But no, I'm not talking about in a healthy way. I'm talking about in a negative, nasty way. Yeah. These people are difficult, problematic, and combative. They are quarrelsome, eager to fight, belligerent, and hostile. They have vicious habits. They are dangerous. They have savage natures. Yeah. They are often remorseless and heartless. These are the people capable of treating God's best in an inhumane manner. They can be abusive, cruel, harsh, backbiting, and venomous. A snake. Hate-filled, unpleasant, slanderous, sadistic, homicidal, spiteful, and vindictive. Yeah. Number two, people who obtain influence that is far too great for them become destructive. Some people who start from the bottom do not deserve the chosen ones. They do not have the capacity to steward the blessing well. Often we value the things we work for however when you hand raw diamonds to an undeserving fool the outcome will be disastrous they will not behave in a decent manner you have given confidence to a bum a sense of entitlement to a leech a gift to a devil <clears throat> or an opportunity to a squanderer if you give big blessings to a person who is undeserving, it will be wasted and only used for self-indulgence. That's how you find yourself being used, manipulated, abused, mishandled. All right. See, a slave will be unfit to walk in a ruler's shoes. They have not been trained to walk in that type of authority. The spirit of a slave has not been renewed to operate in the office of a king or a queen. Some of these slaves are being used for the devil's work. There is a difference in being a slave for God. 
a servant of God and being a slave to the devil, a person doing the devil's work. The mind is not capable of handling business accordingly. Okay, their mind is not capable of it. Those type of people are people, those, those type of people who are used to being used will in turn, those types of people who are used to being used will in return use others. When you used to being used by the devil, they don't got no problem coming to use you. They don't see no wrong in it. They don't know what it's like to be used for the kingdom. They don't know what it's like to um to do God's work. They don't know what it is to do the right thing. To treat others with respect. To have integrity. Yeah. Their circumstances will cause them to be oppressive and tyrannical. They will use oppressive practices to gain wealth. They'll step on anyone they encounter to get the next crumb. Because they are poor in spirit, finances, education, and they lack the means to gain godly wealth, they will step on your neck just to get to the next level. They are devil worshipers. All right. Demonic entities, demonic field hosts. Okay. The disposition of their mind deem it okay to act in a proud and haughty manner. Being that they are from a low estate, a poor background, they still kill and destroy God's best. The chosen one. See, you were sent to be a blessing and they ruined it. God had plans to pull some of these demons out of prison from their places of bondage. However, they chose evil over good. Yeah. They chose destruction and death over being saved by grace. Yeah. No mercy is their portion now. Yeah. See, God sent you to be a light in the dark, to be a healer in broken places. And in return, they fumbled their biggest blessings. Some of these people were about to experience a life-changing, life-altering blessing. Should they have picked the light over darkness? Yeah. But they must reap what they have sown. And the hand that was once extended through you has been retracted. They'll be waiting for their next breakthrough. It isn't to say that God will never bless them again. It just won't be through you. They rejected God's best. People like you don't show up every day. You can't be found in common places. You can't be duplicated. You can't be bought. Only God can send a person like you. Yeah. Only God can send a person like you in their direction. God sent you to be a blessing and they rejected it. Pray for these people. Forgive them for they know not what they do. God sent you to be a blessing to these people and they rejected it. They may very well be blessed again, but I'm telling you, some opportunities only come once in a lifetime. They will never find another one like you. See, they don't know what they done did, y'all. They really don't know what they did. See, at the time, it looked like it was nothing to pass you up, to throw you out. But God's glory is all over you. And he is about to make some things known about you. He is about to show them you threw away the best. You humiliated my best. You abused my best. You took raw diamonds. You took my priceless, my prized possession and treated it like it's nothing. I tried to bless you. Now I will take it from you. You will never get another chance like this again. They will never have another opportunity to come across something so magnificent as you. Yeah, you don't miss a good thing till it's gone.
See, a lot of these people are about to take loss after loss after loss after loss after loss. And they're going to sit back and they're going to be like, dang, I wish I did right by that. I miss my own stuff. I miss my blessings. I miss what I had. But they squandered it. I miss my family. I miss my friends. I miss my lover. I miss my worker. I miss my employee. I miss my boss. I miss my neighborhood. Dang. I miss that person I used to do business with. I miss that side of town. I miss, I miss, I miss, I miss, I miss. Yeah, they missed it. They fumbled. They fumbled a good thing. They fumbled. 